Hi everybody, Jeff Simon for Social Flight at Air Venture 2025. I'm here at the Aero Press Conference here with Dan O'Donnell. How are you doing, Dan? I'm doing well, thanks. Dan is Senior Vice President and General Manager of Advanced Avionics for Aero Group. And yes. what that really means, I think, for us in general aviation here at Air Venture is going to be Aspen. Absolutely. Right? And that side of things. Yeah. I, I've been a huge fan of Aspen products. I fly behind it since, oh, God, as long as I can remember uh, behind it. So, And it helped get me in here to the show through terrible weather and all sorts of crazy things. So tell me a little bit uh, about yourself. You come from a, a real breadth of aviation, spanning your GA all the way up to the airlines. Yeah, so I've been involved in aviation uh, for almost 30 years now. Um, started my career with Boeing. Uh, worked in a rotation program, so on the commercial side as well as the military side. I then spent 15 years with United Airlines. Uh, I was the director of flight operations technology, so we did a lot of CNS ATM type work. Mm -hmm. uh, commonalized the flight decks during the United Continental merger. Also deployed the iPad. Oh, the yeah. Electronic flight bag was one of our really big that, projects. That was a big deal for airlines, right? To I'm be able to get consumer electronics into the cockpit. Absolutely. It's something I'm very proud of. I mean, we actually brought Apple into our flight training center to show them how a pilot would use the device. You know, it was never intended for aviation at the time. So that was really a big milestone in my career. It led uh, a group with A4A for the tablet ESB is what it was yep. called, a task force. Uh, I also worked for L3, VP of Business Development. Uh, I ran Metron Aviation as president, so ATFM. Uh, and then uh, also was a director at JetBlue and purchased the fleet and so forth. Wow. Uh, been doing a lot of consulting the last couple of years, uh, private equity, airlines, OEMs, and then I also fly a Phenom 300. So yeah. just, a, just a little bit of experience <laughs> in aviation. Thanks. Well, it's, it's wonderful to have you here uh, you know, at the helm now uh, of Aspen and seeing all of this move forward. Obviously, uh, John Yuzikai now is moving on being Chief Operating Officer of Aero Group, yeah. which is uh, UAV, all everything that falls underneath that. And so with um, going public now, uh, uh, give us a quick sense for what people can start to expect uh, sure. out of Aspen moving forward. Yeah, so uh, just one other aside, I've been on the board of Aspen since 2018. Oh, yeah. So what's really nice is, you know, I've, I've not only dipped my toes in the water, but I'm probably chest deep at this point anyway. So it's a very good transition. Uh, we've been looking at a lot of different and new products. Uh, one of those being the engine instruments uh, yeah. that we'll have available in December. But what's really nice is this gives us access to more capital, get to projects much sooner than we otherwise could. Yeah. And with the Aero Group, you know, there's four divisions and those divisions will really feed off each other. Yeah. So uh, you can expect a, a lot of new developments, a lot of getting to market faster and having new products. Uh, yeah. So it'll be wonderful. Well, I think one of the, the biggest things that's kind of like obvious on a lot of people's minds is with Aspen, a lot of your uh, developments to this point have been on that core foundation with software improvements. You come up with engine technology, all, uh, as you can see here, and, and a lot of things that have been fixed in there. But the real question for a lot of people is, what's likely to come next in terms of form factor, in terms of things like that? Does the public fund availability and the financials now make all that possible? It, it does. Um, you know, I, I'm not, uh, at liberty to speak to some of the forward-looking things, obviously. <laughs> uh, but yes, I mean, you know, we've talked about large format displays is something I think you can expect to see in the near future. Uh, we're, we're looking, as Joe mentioned earlier, is some expansion. And if yeah. there's companies that make sense, we may be interested, uh, which could, again, bring things faster to market. If someone has uh, technology that we're interested in, or uh, you know, growing on what we already have. Yeah, would be really the goal. Well, I have to say again, you know, flying here through terrible weather, as I mentioned, you know, all sorts of stuff. I I love the flexibility. So nice. seeing where you're going to go with the fundamentals of having the the backup features, the reversion capabilities, the angle of attack stuff, everything that's built in. Yeah. Uh, you know, keeps me and my family safe, and we've been a you know customer for for a very long time now. So oh, I look fantastic. forward to seeing what you've got coming out, and uh, and just. Appreciate having you on board. Thanks very much. I appreciate it. Nice All right. Talking. Well, for Air Venture 2025, I'm Jeff Simon for Social Flight Blue Skies.